Now, the advantage of this virtual event, as we said during the beginning, is that we have such an international audience, over 1,000 viewers coming from all over the world. And uh, here, again, we have the wonderful possibility of having two speakers from the United States join us for the end of the symposium. And next up, it's going to be very exciting because we will be focusing on the field of aviation and looking towards the United States, as mentioned. I am now very much looking forward to welcoming Ed Dreyer from the Boeing Company and Stephen Collins from Anarch. Thank you for joining us. Great, great to be here. Thank you. Thank you, and we have Stephen at least so far. Now, um, I would like to give a short introduction of each of you, Stephen and Ed. I hope Ed is hearing me as well, and then I will clear the stage for your video presentation and rejoin you at the end of the video presentation for the live Q&A, all right? That sounds great, thank you. Great, all right. Now for a short introduction, Ed Dreyer, I'm going to start with him, is a senior manager of Connected Factory and Digital Manufacturing, a part of information technology and data analytics in product systems. In this role, he is responsible for production system modeling and the digital twin using Dassault System 3D experience with focus on Delmia. He is also the IT program manager for automating a wire harness design process used by BCA Mechanics and Quality Team. Ed is a mechanical engineer based out of Seattle and has held a broad range of assignments across IT, engineering, program management, and new business development in support of both the commercial airplanes and defense businesses at Boeing. That sounds exciting. Also, Stephen Collins, to introduce our second speaker, is co-founder and CEO of Anarch and an over 25-year IT industry veteran and entrepreneur with an extensive background in MBE, PLM, and intelligent information management solutions. Stephen helped guide Anarch through its evolution from innovative 3D web visu visualization and digital technology developer to the fast-growing leading provider of automated technical content management, visual collaboration, and digital thread solutions that enable leading global manufacturers to communicate and also to collaborate more effectively and securely throughout the extended enterprise. And now I look forward to our video presentation. And once more, we will be uh, joining you live again at the end of the video. Here comes harnessing the power of open standards to deploy a connected and collaborative digital enterprise. Thank you to Ed and Stephen for the following presentation. Please roll the film. Hello, my name is Stephen Collins, co-founder and CEO of Anarch, and we are very excited to take part in today's virtual ProStep IVIP symposium. With me today is Mr. Ed Dreyer, Senior Manager of Connected Factory and Digital Manufacturing at Boeing. Ed, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks, Stephen, for having me. And again, my name's Ed Dreyer, and I've spent time on both military and commercial products within Boeing over the last 30 years. Currently, I spend time working through model-based engineering for engineering bill of materials, model-based process planning, and factory flows and simulation. That's great, Ed. Thank you very much. Uh, today, we will be discussing Boeing's digital threat strategy and how they are harnessing the power of industry standard formats to effectively deploy a connected and collaborative digital enterprise. I thought I'd start by providing a brief overview and background on Anarch for those of you who are not familiar with the company. Uh, Anarch is a leading provider of technical content management and visual collaboration software. Uh, we work with uh, industry-leading uh, enterprise manufacturers across uh, most of the discrete manufacturing segments, empowering our customers uh, uh, to successfully deploy digital thread, digital transformation solutions and applications. Specifically, we enable our customers to generate and manage role-specific technical data packages, or TDPs, and connected digital workflows to provide more efficient communication and collaboration all along the digital thread throughout engineering, manufacturing, supply chain, field service, and so forth. We're based here in Boulder, Colorado, where I'm talking from, and we have offices throughout North America and Bangalore, India, and we have a worldwide network of technology and integration partners to help support our customer success on a global scale. One of our implementation and integration partners, uh, also a ProStep IVIP member participating in today's virtual symposium is uh, our German-based partner, Engineering Methods, who many of you know, they do a great job of representing us both in Germany as well as surrounding uh, territories. Um, so just wanted to mention that for those of you who are local and, and, and participating in today's event. I'd now like to drill down 
and provide a bit more detail on Anarch's relationship with Boeing to provide a little bit more context for the topics we're talking about today. Anarch is a proud Boeing Second Century partner. We provide advanced content management, data distribution, visual collaboration capabilities that are utilized throughout the extended Boeing enterprise. Uh, our systems integrate seamlessly within the diverse Boeing data management digital ecosystem, including Dassault 3D experience. And one of the things we really focus on is harnessing the power of several key Boeing Second Century approved standard formats, such as PRC, 3D PDF, W3C, GLTF, and others. We'll be focusing on some examples uh, later on in the presentation. Some of the key uh, challenges or needs that Boeing and Anarch work on together, uh, the first one is Boeing's desire to more efficiently distribute technical data for improved document and browser-based data access, visualization, and collaboration to serve users across a whole array of functional areas and use cases. We'll be showing you some examples of that uh, here shortly. The second uh, major challenge area that we uh, collaborate with Boeing on is really the need and desire to streamline uh, their production of 3D interactive wire harness assembly instructions for all programs to improve quality and to accelerate their production rate on the shop floor. And third, uh, we're involved with helping them with the effective deployment of AR and XR-based systems to more efficiently support various manufacturing and MRO applications across different product lines. I'd now like to hand it over to Ed so he can expand and provide more detail about Boeing's second century digitalization initiatives. Ed? Yeah, thanks, Stephen. Hey, working within Boeing, our mindset for Second Century Enterprise Systems is to accelerate the digital transformation of our company and be able to utilize authoritative information to advance our products and services through the conceptual phase, development phase, manufacturing phase, and long-term support. For our transformation, we're using the SO systems and the 3DX platform to unlock our full potential throughout the product lifecycle management and our manage manufacturing operations management. Additionally, with our supplier base, we can maximize value with the information flows using data standards as the best me mechanism to facilitate that. The graphic really represents how working with a single source of authoritative digital data can provide faster development of concepts and prototypes, faster development of product design and analysis, the possibility of experimentation with materials and part sizing, a better and more complete understanding of product management and data attributes between CAD, CAM, and Boeing systems and applications. Higher quality and interoperability from engineering to manufacturing to long-term product support is what's needed. Engineers value commonality and reuse over redesign and apply creativity through simplicity and modularity. We work in teams and now can work anywhere. More work matching requirements and reducing errors up front is a large benefit to the enterprise. Automated transactions of digital designs, simplified engineering also reduce costs. We are looking at real-time performance measures to improve the quality of our products. We want consistent engineering processes across programs while eliminating data recreation and reconciliation that can be troubling. And finally, the ability to use digital thread capabilities across the entire value stream will dramatically improve flow time for new products and services. When we look across the enterprise value stream, there's an abundance of use cases coming in in the XR space. With XR, there are now more instances of how technology can benefit the enterprise. For engineering, product creation, product assembly, and installation, we're seeing some gains with the use of this technology and all brought together using standards. We can now take an engineering model and directly input that data into our manufacturing bill of materials. Now, shop mechanics, working with teams from production engineering and industrial engineers can create options for assembly through model-based work instructions with tablets, wearables, or mobile devices. It's just the start of a transformation that will create higher efficiencies improve quality with less rework. That's innovation. Using open standards such as 3D PDF, PRC, GLTF, HTML5, and others are paving the way for innovations. That's very exciting, Ed. This provides a great overview of uh, how Boeing is incorporating uh, and utilizing industry open standard formats as a major component, as a cornerstone of its digital thread uh, strategy. Uh, and, and this is something, as you well know, uh, based on our, our work together, that Anarch 
uh, and the Intercore platform is really designed and was built to embrace open standards as a, as a major component of, of, of our capabilities. And since what we're trying to achieve here is more efficient, more effective access to technical data and content, uh, the right information, the right place, the right time, all along the full spectrum of use cases, all the way from product development out to support and retirement, it's important that you be able to provide knowledge workers with the right information that could be accessible from any location, which is particularly important in today's uh, time of COVID, and be able to target any device that's required, whether that be a PC, a laptop, a tablet, smartphone, or as is featured on this slide in many of the use case examples, some sort of wearable or heads up uh, uh, um, device so that, again, folks can get the right information, the right form that allows them to make better decisions in real time to drive greater efficiency across the entire life cycle. Uh, my friend and colleague, Paul Peralt, is going to uh, showcase a few different use case and solution examples that will highlight how many of these open standards are incorporated in real world uh, applications and digital threat solutions. Thank you, Stephen. So uh, as mentioned at the beginning of this patient, we're going to look at some examples um, in these three main categories here. Uh, first of all, we're going to show off uh, our solution for distributing various different types of technical data and um, enabling a uh, form of visual collaboration on that on that data. Uh, we're also going to be looking at 3D wire harness uh, and assembly instructions. And then finally, some examples uh, related to uh, AR and XR for manufacturing and field service. So let me uh, switch over here to my web browser. And what we're looking at here is NART Core MBE Web um, as mentioned earlier, this is a fully standards-based solution. It's browser-based solution, so it's all HTML5, WebGL, GLTF, you know, cascading style sheets, JavaScript, etc. And what I can do here is I can log into this portal, and when I do, I see technical content that I have access to. So, for example, I'm going to search for TDP, and you can see here that I've got two different TDP content items that I can interact with. So I only see what I have access to, which is a very important differentiator versus you know, traditional PLM systems. So in terms of different types of technical content, we can look at all wide, you know, wide variety of different types of um, engineering and manufacturing data. In this example right here, we're looking at something that was an engineering drawing, but is now a fully browser-based HTML5 content item within MBE Web. And as you can see here, I can interact with this drawing without downloading any documents. It's all done interactively right here within my browser, and this can be on any device, whether it's a PC, a tablet, your iPhone, your Samsung Galaxy device, what have you. Now, it's not just limited to engineering drawings. As you can see here, we're going to interact with a full 3D model right here within the browser. And this is made possible, again, through the use of HTML5 and WebGL technologies. Over here, we've got a mashup of different types of engineering data. One on the left, you can see that we've got an, a 3D model of a circuit board. And on the right, you can see here that we've got an, a, a logical circuit diagram or a schematic. And so this mashup makes it very easy to not only visualize, for example, where all occurrences of this capacitor are within the board, but then also you can see this cross highlighting characteristic where I can click on a capacitor here. It'll highlight it in the logical circuit diagram, and then also the physical location on the board itself. And that enables a type of collaboration that typically requires numerous different tools to facilitate. Now finally here, we're looking at a technical data package from some data that Boeing provided to us. And this is a section of a fuselage. You can see here again, I can click on this item and the parts will stream right into my browser making it easy to interact with this data and large data sets and and have that information just stream right in whether you're on a, a on an iphone or a, a samsung uh, phone or or a google pixel what have you 
Now, another thing that you can do is you can create activities. An activity is a way to provide context for problem solving and collaborating with other people, either inside or outside your organization. So in this particular activity, we have a time limited access. So you can see here that this is active from today, which is August 31st through September 30th. And I've invited a coworker, Jim Martin, to participate. And you can see here is that we can add markups to a thread, threaded discussion, to help us resolve technical issues or misunderstandings or just to discuss the design intent. So I'm going to add a comment right here. Let's jump in and jump into the technical data package. And so for my comment over here, I'm going to click on this view and we're going to zoom in real closely here and let's say, hey, you know, I don't know what type of fasteners are being used here, you know, around this um, section of the body here. So I'm going to grab a uh, markup tool and maybe I'll make a uh, rather thick line here and we'll just highlight something. Now I'm going to capture this and then I'll be able to add a textual comment to the thread. What type of fastener, uh, whoops, is used here? So pardon my spelling mistakes. I'm gonna post that to the thread. And now Jim will be able to see my comment in real time on the device that he's using. Finally, let's look at a example of manufacturing instructions uh, featuring wire harness information. Hey, Paul, sorry, let me interject here for just one minute. I just, sorry to interrupt your, your flow. I wanted to provide a little bit of background here as you get into this particular uh, demonstration around wire harness assembly instructions. Specifically, what we're doing is helping the, the Boeing team members on the shop floor to more efficiently install the, the long and complex wire harness assemblies throughout the body of the aircraft as they make their way through the, the manufacturing process. Uh, what Paul is about to show you is somewhat exemplary of the type of data that we can support, that ANR can support, featuring uh, wire harness and uh, PCB information and mechanical systems in a single interactive uh, work instruction, assembly instruction environment. So I just wanted to provide that context quickly. Sorry to interrupt, Paul. Please uh, continue where you were. So as you can see here, the user interface has completely changed. What we were looking at before is a technical data package. This now is a manufacturing work instruction or you know, maybe an assembly instruction or a maintenance instruction. And what we've got is a interactive environment here. This is a 3D model that I'm looking at. And you can see over here on the right that we have a sequence of steps that I need to step through to you know, learn or to visualize how this particular assembly is uh, going together and what specific requirements there might be for tightening fasteners, et cetera. So in this particular step, I'm gonna click the animate button and you can see here that those four fasteners are mounting this aluminum plate with this wire harness and the circuit card to this uh, nose cone section. So I'll do that again. Now again, just to reiterate, this information, this application is cross-platform, cross-device, 100% native, HTML5 and WebGL, all the technologies that the modern internet is built upon, and that really enables a, a degree of accessibility and collaboration that just isn't possible with your traditional desktop-based tools. So what we've just seen is several different examples of browser-based content, and again, that's 100% native, HTML5, W3C standards content that can be rendered on any browser, on any device, on any platform. In addition to browser-based content, NR Core also publishes 3D PDF documents. In this case, fully standards based 100% native PRC-based PDFs that can be opened and viewed with the standard Adobe Reader. As you can see here, we've got the same views and the same content published from the same authoritative source published into PDF in this case, as opposed to browser-based content we saw just a moment ago. So two different types of content published from the same authoritative source, all done within our core. So I'm gonna turn this back over to Steven, who's gonna show you a uh, example of uh, an augmented reality or an XR type application. 
Thanks very much, Paul. Great demo so far. And, and a couple of things, just the themes that are, that are popping up here as we go through this. Uh, next up, I'm going to be talking a little bit about how we're supporting uh, some of Boeing's exciting work in the realm of AR and XR and how that's delivering value. But I wanted to comment on a few things that you, uh, you just showed us and circle back here to, uh, to the slide that Ed went uh, through earlier, uh, focused on the digital thread with open standards. And I think a few things that, that come to mind uh, that are they're very exciting uh, that you showed across a whole myriad of use cases is one, having that access to the right data, that fit for purpose content that enables uh, individuals to do their jobs, whether they're in product development, they're on the shop floor, they're uh, undertaking some sort of uh, maintenance or MRO application, uh, or they're uh, collaborating with their supply chain or, or other partners, is the idea that, that any type of technical data that's required to communicate and collaborate uh, more effectively can be provided in a managed browser-based environment with complete flexibility, with complete traceability, uh, including everything from 2D drawings to 3D model-based definition to ECAT information, uh, whatever's required, uh, can be delivered and then flexibly and resiliently updated uh, as needs and changes uh, uh, in process require it. And one of the things that we've learned uh, in working with Boeing, as well as a number of other customers, as we've worked with them uh, in the early parts of their digital transformation and digitalization strategies is that, uh, is that these types of processes change and they change rapidly. And it's really important to have both processes and systems that are flexible and resilient enough to be able to change and continue to pursue best practices and ideal processes as needs change. So one of the things that we really try and provide with our uh, web-based system that we've been showcasing here is that resiliency and flexibility to constantly be able to make changes and update or support changes and updates to process in real time. And a, a template-based and a uh, web-based and browser-based environment is, is the perfect one to achieve those goals. Okay, now to wrap up the demo portion of our presentation, I uh, wanted to spend a few minutes talking about uh, the Boeing XR strategy, which would include uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, and informed reality. And we'll spend a little bit of time talking about those concepts as we, as we go through this. What you see here on the screen is a video of an Anarch uh, manufacturing or field service application uh, utilizing a heads-up, uh, hands-free display system by our partner, Realware. It was featured at Oracle Open World, the last Oracle Open World, uh, as a part of their Industry 4.0 section of the event. And what you're seeing in this particular example is uh, an informed reality application where Anark is facilitating the, the real stream of, of actual real technical data as web content into a, uh, into a virtual application uh, and a hands-free application for uh, conducting things like work instructions, assembly instructions, or field service operations and so forth. Uh, this is a complete voice controlled, complete uh, hands-free application you're seeing here. This is what we would call informed reality, which is uh, really all about providing uh, real authoritative technical data as a part of a uh, XR application. Now, in the case of Boeing, uh, this is something that we'll be uh, helping uh, them uh, achieve uh, with our in our core uh, intelligent information management or content management platform by bringing in W3C uh, uh, compliant WebGL based web content that can really target any type of wearable device for this type of application. Uh, in the case of uh, Boeing utilizing either augmented reality or virtual reality applications uh, for their manufacturing or MRO applications, um, Anarch is uh, actually able to provide a, a GLTF-based uh, data pipeline, bringing the uh, design and engineering information into the AR application, whether that be provided by Unity or another provider. It could be targeting a, a device such as HoloLens or Oculus, you name it. It's all about getting that kind of rich content and in-context information to folks on the shop floor in the field so that in a hands-free manner, they have the information they need to do uh, to, to, to more efficiently and effectively do their jobs in real time with easier to interpret information, real-time feedback, and uh, therefore increased quality and, and, uh, and accelerated timelines. So that's just a little bit of a background on how Anarch is applying open standards and helping uh, Boeing achieve its goals with this overarching uh, XR strategy.
Okay, so hopefully this has provided some uh, really helpful information and, and the demos have provided some real visual context for the types of solutions, uh, digital solutions, digital threat solutions that uh, Boeing is deploying and how Anarch is, is working with Boeing and harnessing open standards to help achieve these objectives. Uh, so finally, we wanted to share some uh, key takeaways uh, when we think about um, you know, what it takes to effectively uh, to, to deploy an effective uh, digital enterprise strategy. And the first one is that uh, connected managed access to the right data at the right place at the right time uh, with intuitive visual and technical collaboration is really essential for successful enterprise-wide digitalization. Second is open industry standard formats are absolutely essential and they should serve as a cornerstone of effective digital thread strategy if you want to empower an efficient, flexible system for data distribution, visualization, and collaboration across your organization. And then finally, and this is potentially the most important of the takeaways, and this is uh, borne out by a lot of experience in helping companies succeed with their digital transformation strategies, is that it is absolutely critical that leadership uh, is involved, that there's an organizational commitment, and there's an alignment from leadership all the way through the organization uh, in order to implement uh, an effective, successful digitalization strategy and process change. Um, otherwise, it's very tempting to go back to older processes and ways of doing things that aren't as efficient. So it really is important to get the whole organization bought in and growing the same direction if you if you want to succeed. So with those takeaways in mind, everything else we've shared, we appreciate. Uh, all of your time today, and uh, certainly thank Ed for his participation and contributions to today's discussion, and we'd love to open it up for questions, any questions that you may have. Thank you. And thank you to Ed and Stephen for this very interesting presentation. Unfortunately, Ed from uh, Boeing has been having troubles connecting to us, technical difficulties, but I do believe that we still have Stephen with us live from the United States. Stephen, are you still hearing me? I'm here. Yeah, Perfect. Thank you. thank you so much. I'm so glad. And Stephen, we only have two minutes left, so I'm just going to take one quick question and then ask everyone else to direct their questions to our editorial team, which will forward them to you. Is that all right? That sounds great. Thank you. All right, then let's take the first question that we did receive during the SOT, which was at 3.39 from Sven. Sven says, Boeing is using the 3D Experience platform and other databases, so what about Anarch? How does Anarch relate to 3DX and other data systems in Boeing? Stephen. That's a great question, Sven, thank you. Yeah, so, so one of uh, our main uh, goals and objectives with the Anarch Core platform is to be able to connect to and to extract data from a whole spectrum of authoritative data sources. So we have direct integrations uh, within the 3D experience environment. And so we work very well to uh, further extend the capabilities of the 3D experience platform, as well as the other authoritative data systems that are uh, prolific throughout the Boeing digital ecosystem. So that's, that's definitely something we really focus on to really uh, create additive value and to create a, a singular stream of technical content coming from a myriad of, of data sources, including 3D experience. Stephen, thank you so much. And where are you actually joining us from? I'm in Boulder, Colorado. So what time is so it there? It is, uh, it's 8 o'clock, uh, it's 8 a.m. now, so it's a, it's, a, it's a civilized hour. Fairly yeah. civilized yeah. hour. Thank you all the yeah. same for making time. Uh, thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you latest next year during our next symposium, Stephen. We are looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Stephen Collins, ladies and gentlemen, thank you.